Welcome back to the studio. You are here for kiln unloading number four. It's been a while since unloading kiln number three, so welcome back and get ready. And to all the new subscribers who are here because John the Potter sent you the other day for the marble clay video, welcome to the channel. We're happy to have you. Put this down here. You know what? Gotta change this shirt real quick, hold on. One shirt and four hours later, ready to go. Let's see what we've got in here. There's some good stuff in here. See, some things I make a long time ago, I never get to fire them or forget to, or they're kind of like tucked away, like small experiments. Check out this one. It's, I don't know what you call this. A tiny shot glass, maybe? Check it out. This was a slab that I, you know, turned and then attached into a cylinder added a bottom for it. I love that cosmic marbling right there. Anyway, anyway, there's more stuff. All right. uh, we won't show you that. Ooh. This one. The glaze was not friendly on this one. Oh, I love that one. This one, look at this. Wait for it. Whoo! Nice ring to it, yeah? Whew! New color, new color. How's that purple treating you? Who out there loves purple? A little JF. Look at that. This one I'm okay. This one's okay. I'm not really sure I dig this one. Marbling is a little too simple for me. It's also kind of a weird shape. I don't know. Could have been better. All right. Small test. See, every now and then, I try something crazy, and I tried, <laughs> tried making a perfect sphere out of a solid piece of clay. Um, it was okay. More of like a billiard ball. Look at that. There's something very pleasing about like taking a ball of clay and just kind of like, I promise that wasn't planned. <laughs> I saw some cracks, but okay, yeah, maybe they all come apart. Should we try? See these cracks here? It was an old Nerikomi block that I never used, and it got too dry, so I thought I would just, you know, trim it into a sphere. Maybe it comes apart. <sighs> maybe only on camera. Maybe only by mistake it comes out. Oh, there we go. Like a puzzle piece. Done. Easiest puzzle ever. I'm fond of this one. This one's alright. I'm feeling very patriotic all of a sudden. Nice little color blend. You gotta keep experimenting. You can't give up. Whew. Next shelf down. Ooh, cone pack. Have you ever seen these before? I have one of these. It came with the kiln that I that I got from somebody. Um, it's like a half shelf, so you can have work on certain parts of it, but also have uh, an area for taller work in the center. It's kind of cool. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is just this ridiculous test that I did. <laughs> it's like if, if Funfetti made pottery, or if they wanted a Funfetti. Look at this. Why? The question is why not? Look at this. It's like sprinkles, like a donut. To be honest, I kind of love this. I, I kind of really love this. Although if I touch these, 
I would bet you they'll all fall off. I mean, look at this, for example. Here, ready? Well, surprisingly, not all of it. Hmm. Most of these pieces you just saw are from the agateware pottery video I posted recently about how to wedge it up differently. So nothing really new here, a couple things, but everything below on the bottom shelf here is some newer work. Quick story, I also coach girls tennis and our banquet is tomorrow and so I made pottery, I always do for all the seniors. I made a piece of pottery for each senior, some agateware to teach them about clay but also kind of as a metaphor for memories last a lifetime, I know it's really cheesy. But uh, these are some new pieces you're gonna see. Some are more simple. I still like it though. You know, I can't get enough of that JF stamp. Honestly, anybody, anybody out there who's getting serious about their pottery, I used to sign it myself with like a needle tool or an X-Acto knife. It looked like this. This is how it looked. Like it's fine, I guess, you know, it's an exacto. I even filled it with underglaze, like I used Mishima to get this to work. But I mean, if you compare this to this, I mean, come on. If the work is the same, but you're looking at the quality of the stamp for professionalism, how could you not choose this one? Really? All right. This is an old video, by the way. This is the hound's tooth pattern I made. Big fan. Couple more here. They might all look the same, but they're a little bit different. Look at the blues and reds on there. Ooh, love that. You know, some of these are more like, they look like a globe or like some kind of Doppler radar effect, now that I'm looking at it. This one specifically. Do you see it? Do you see what I see? Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. Then this one. Hmm. That's a bummer. I can only think that this is what's called dunting. Although, I don't know, I, I once fired this load. I've only once fired pottery, maybe like a handful of times, maybe like seven or eight times. I've never had this before. Anybody know the answer to this? Um, it's not overly thick. It's, yeah, I mean, it's about maybe three eighths inch thick at the bottom. Um, can anyone describe why that would happen? Who knows the answer out there? I know a lot of you are potters besides, besides me. What causes that? Never seen that before. Maybe I can pop it off. Screwdriver, hold on. You saw it here first, here we go. To be honest, that, I don't, I mean, I hate saying it, but that might actually have been an air bubble. I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to cut my hand doing this. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Yep. Wow. So don't do that. That was really dumb. All right, honestly, might be the first time I've had something like that happen. Like it was still attached, but when I have seen things like this, and you've all seen this before, haven't you? When I've seen things like this, it's usually an air bubble. Or at least it's fired too quickly. Hmm, that's a bummer. Moving along. You know what you haven't seen actually? It wasn't in the last kiln loading, but I'll include it in this kiln I'm loading if you want. This guy here, oh, so awesome. It's actually tea in here right now, so I can't show you the whole thing. Look at this. I threw this with the um, 5,000 sub video. This has yellow, orange, red, and blue. Anybody else do that when you drink? Pinky up? I don't know why I do it, but I've always done it. I don't know why. 
my wife makes fun of me. You know, you can really see a difference with how some of these are wedged and prepped. So check it out. Those four are a little bit different. These six. Then we have these three. Do you prefer this style with more of these stripes? Do you prefer more of this random marbled paper, marbled clay look? Or do you prefer this more crazy sedimentary rock look? Also, I like the red. I tried that for the first time. Oh, and of course there's the purple. I'm actually very fond of this color. You'll probably see some more of it in the future. Why haven't you subscribed yet? That's the question I wanted you to ask yourself. You know, of all the things that I come back to from this color loading, I think this is what I come back to the most, is this guy. I don't know why. I like that spot right there more than a lot of the work. I mean, I like it, but this isn't something new. This is a nice little surprise. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. To the new subscribers out there, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you all. Say hi, drop a comment below if you feel like it. You guys are great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.